and a lot of you follow professional athletics and there's a lot of uh, discussion these days about concussions in athletes and we know that when you bump into the brain when you impact the brain the brain gets damaged it actually disappears and if you hit the brain enough time you can lose enough brain where you have difficulty thinking so the NFL has spent billions of dollars investing into looking at ways that they can identify players that are developing brain injuries and alter uh, that process What's really important to know that the spinal cord is basically an extension of the brain. This is the base of the skull. The face is here. And there's a hole at the base of the skull called the foramen magnum. And the brain travels through that hole below this point. The brain turns into the spinal cord. It's the same structure. So above the base of the skull, this structure is called brain below the base of the skull it's called spinal cord it's the same thing it's not like one's a liver and one's a kidney it's an extension of the same structure so why is that important well that the brain is very delicate and when it gets bumped into into it gets damaged the spinal cord will do the same thing also notice that there is water there's space around the brain this white stuff is water it's called spinal fluid in the skull the brain floats in water inside a space. It doesn't actually come in contact with the bones. When you whack into it, that impact goes across the water and actually can damage, can damage the nerves without even physically touching the bone. In the spinal canal, there's also water. And in the spinal canal, you have a flexible group of bones. And those, that flexible group of bones is moving around the nerves. So you have a tube, the nerves in the center, and when you move your head, the bones move around your cord. They don't come in contact with it. When they do start to come in contact with the spinal cord, and when something comes in contact with the brain, it will damage it. When brain and spinal cord get damaged, they disappear. They literally turn into liquid. And that is visible on an MRI scan. So you can actually quantitate with traditional MRI scans damage to the brain and damage to the spinal cord. And we'll discuss a little bit later some of the more advanced ways of quantifying that. So again, the brain and the spinal cord are the same structure, extremely delicate, need to be protected. When they're unprotected, they can get damaged.